All right, let's do another cartoon animal, and this time we're going to draw a porcupine. It's a great animal, and I'm going to start with my pencil on this and lay it out. He starts with almost the same kind of shape we've been doing, All this time we're going to lay it on its side a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my marker because now we have that shape laid down. Now, right over here, I'm going to put his face. So right here, I'm going to put a little circle for his little nose. And like I said before, they could be down on all fours, but we could have him standing up, and that's what he's going to be doing. So right here, I'm going to put his face in. Big, friendly smile, some whiskers, and a cute smile like that, like his teeth. And we'll make him have sort of a chubby face, so we'll put the rest of his face over here. He's kind of a chubby porcupine. Actually, he's a porky pine. How's that? Uh, let's see. We'll put some eyes in, some cute little black dots. And they have little ears over here like this. All right. Now, let's define that shape we started with a little bit. Now, let's put one arm in over here, his fingers. And I'm not going to go back too hard on that because we're going to add the quills. Now, let's put this line in here. Now, let's have one foot kind of back like this. There you go. And the other one is over here, and it's kind of supporting the whole body. And that's the one that is in the back, and the body is casting a shadow, so let's do something like that and give it a little bit of depth to the picture. All right, now we're going to have his other arm over here, and he's throwing a dart, because everybody thinks that porcupines can actually, at will, project their quills, and that's what they're called, quills, but they can't. That's a misconception. Now we're going to put the quills in. Now watch how we do this. We let the marker work for us. See how I bear down and then lift up, and I get that nice, thick, and thin look to my work. That's why I didn't draw this line in. I'm going to complete it with the quills. Yeah, they, they can't actually project them, but what they can do is they can arch their backs and flex their muscles, it says, and what that means is if anybody comes near them, what can happen is they actually will leave their body and stick into your hands if you get too close if you touch them. And we'll make a couple going the other way. See how that works? Now let's put some shadowing down here. And let's have him throwing a dart. So right here we'll have a dart leaving his hand, going off. And a little cartoon effects and accessories. And put a ground line on him. And let's color him in. Here's a little bit of brown for this. Brown chalk. And I can go into the quills just a little bit, but I like to get that nice gradated tone to it right here. And the back leg. All right, now his other arm. Maybe some green for the grass. All right, maybe a little bit of red for his cheeks. Ah, he's adorable. And there he is, Porky Pine.